My fellow Hoosiers, if I live long enough to need a smart knee or two, I will regard the privilege of having served as your governor as the honor of a lifetime. Tonight, Governor Eric Holcomb delivering his final State of the State address, speaking to a joint session of the General Assembly. He shared his priorities for his final year in office. Fox 59 State House reporter Hannah Adamson joins us now live downtown with what he's focusing on in 2024. Well, Governor Holcomb says these last seven years have brought about tremendous economic growth. He also says he has no plans of stopping that growth anytime soon. In addition to announcing new broadband expansion efforts, a new state-of-the-art law enforcement academy, and the completion of I-69, which I might add led to a standing ovation here at the State House, he also pushed lawmakers on another issue he says still needs significant change. We will deploy on multiple fronts until my last day and hour as your governor. In his final State of the State address, Governor Holcomb made a commitment to education, echoing his next level agenda, which includes boosting reading proficiency rates, adding a computer science graduation requirement for high schoolers, and creating more three-year degree programs at public universities. This is the year our graduation rates will continue to go up, and thanks to the historic investments this body has made, average teacher pay across the state will reach our salary goal of $60,000 a year. But the highlight of the governor's speech, the bombshell announcement, the Lilly Endowment would give its largest grant award in history. $250 million to support Ready 2.0 projects focused on blight reduction, redevelopment, and arts and cultural initiatives throughout our entire state. But Senate Democrats criticizing the governor's speech for what they felt he didn't address. Although the governor did mention the $225 million public health measure that passed last session. Healthcare, just as important for the safety, security, and well-being and prosperity of Hoosiers. And that issue was not mentioned at all. And I thought that was a glaring mistake. Meanwhile, Republican leadership praising the governor's speech, saying they look forward to working with the governor on his proposals surrounding education. The House has already rolled out some of their initiatives. We'll be doing that um, uh, on Thursday as well. So uh, excited about this next legislative session. And Senate Minority Leader Greg Taylor also criticizing the governor for failing to address cannabis in his speech. However, Senate President Pro Tem Roderick Bray says no cannabis laws will even make it this session as committees continue to look into this issue. Reporting live at the State House, Hannah Adamson, Fox 59 News. Okay, Hannah, thanks a lot to go over there at the State House. And of course, we'll have analysis from the governor's State of the State address and all of the latest from the world of Indiana politics coming up Sunday morning on In Focus, Sunday at 9.30 a.m. right here on Fox 59.